The project here um, started at the end of November. We got the keys and uh, we've completed the, the first three at the end of April, which would be five months basically from start to finish. As part of this project, because the houses are listed, we had to be careful with the way that we treated the properties. Uh, obviously you can't externally insulate properties of this age so we have taken the insulation to the inside of the property and we have put in a, a high spec double glazed up and down sash windows in keeping again with the property in order to seal it and improve the insulation value but keep it in keeping with a period property. The process of allocating these properties is in train. There are tenants lined up and ready to move into the properties pretty much immediately. With houses of this age, the materials that we use is very important. So we had to source up and down sash windows so that they would be in keeping with the property. There are a couple of original front doors in this scheme, so we took those and we have replicated them. These houses have been vacant for uh, various amounts of time. Some people were in them up until relatively recently. Some properties were lying idle for many years. The condition of the properties across the row again have been different. Some have been completely derelict and some weren't as bad, but all of them needed to be taken back and done to the same extent. Fingal County Council, we put in place a five-year vacant home strategy. And I suppose key to that is bringing vacant derelict homes back into use, or indeed buildings generally, and maybe repurposing them. So we have a number of pieces of work that we're doing around that. We're doing surveys of vacant properties around the county, following up with inspections, enforcement action, trying to bring them back into use in an informal way. But we also have formal mechanisms, so we can uh, issue notices, carry out compulsory purchase orders. And it's all really of a piece to make sure that existing buildings, existing sites, if they're not in use, that we can bring them back into use, because we know that accommodation is, is badly needed. And I guess this project here today at St. Edith's in, in Port Ran is, is a good example of that. That was 14 uh, vacant derelict homes that have been maybe vacant for 10, 20 years. Through our work and negotiating with the HSE, who used to own the properties, and getting funding from the Department of Housing, we were able to make these homes available for people on our housing list. And in the end, that's what it's about. It's not an abstract thing that we're renovating homes for any given purpose. It's to actually put people in there and within the next few days and maybe a week, we'll have somebody living in these homes. They're completed now and completed to a very high standard. And I guess another part of this overall strategy, if you like, for Fingal County Council is to, is to try and conserve our built heritage. These are important homes, they're over 100 years old, very important architectural features. Huge credit to our architects department and to our contractor who've largely restored some key elements around this property, the windows, the doors, uh, the brickwork as well, the um, sandstone lintels and all of that. So some really wonderful details and that matters and it matters a lot to Fingal because we take great pride in the heritage. And another element of that is to think about sustainability. I mean, they often say that the most sustainable building is the one that's already built. We're focused on existing buildings bringing them uh, up to standard and back into use. And if you think about it in terms of the timeline, it's a much shorter timeline to take a vacant property, even if it is in very poor condition, back into use is probably a number of months, perhaps maybe a year, two years. If you think about an equivalent 14 unit new development, that could take possibly four or five years from conception right through to completion. So this is a really a, an important way to try and fast track um, bringing properties back into use. And we are really getting strong support from the Department of Housing who have funded this project as well. And we're looking at a number of other projects around this. And it isn't just about this project, we're also looking at our own housing stock, making sure we maximise that. Grants are available to private homeowners. And indeed, they're going to be available from now to people who can renovate a property and make it available to rent as well. So that's the Vacant Homes Grant. We also have other schemes, Repair and Lease, where the council takes the property back into use and makes it available for people on our social housing list. And we have other schemes that are coming through uh, renewal of towns and villages as well. We have a, a fund that we've applied for. And we're hoping to bring back properties, perhaps maybe for commercial and for residential use. So there's very much a focus on that. I mean, we're quite fortunate in Fingal. We have a relatively low vacancy rate, possibly about 4%, but 4% is still 4%. We would like to even see that reduce much further. Because any number of those properties, even one, means if it's converted from being vacant to 
so, uh, you know, a house, then someone can live there. And we know there's real pressing need for accommodation at the moment. Fingal County Council have 14 properties on Port Allen Avenue. These are the first three, which was our pilot. These are now complete. The next six on the row are out to tender and will be awarded to a contractor imminently. And then we have five properties at the end of the terrace, which were fire damaged. And they are a little more challenging, but the project work is ready to go.